Okay, at the uh, request of a few members on Clean It Up, I've decided to do a quick video of the heater. You all want to see it? Uh, you can't really see it. <laughs> right, well, basically, this is the last point in what would be your system. Water then gets pumped through the black holes into a coil at the bottom, goes up right up through the heat exchanger and back out it then comes through here into a jacket which is the whole length of the heat exchanger up through and then it comes out of here and then it would enter either here into your hose reel and then off to your pole if you use say a you know the what, a tap whatever um, aqua adapter whatever you might use univolve uh, when you shut the pump off this PRV activates and then the hot water goes back into the tank through this elbow um, if you don't want to do that you can take this other one here attaches down through then you would plug that into the end of your hose reel and then it would keep the hose reel warm between jobs if not just let it run and the full heat water will just go straight back into the tank um, that's that's really all I can really say about it um, those, those two clocks there, that's the temperature in the tank at the bottom and that's currently what it's heating the water to but that's only, well I think that's about even, not even half but that's pretty much the lowest power set what we've got here, get with it, little remote control and switch it on and off or up and down with that one um, switch it up now up to full power and you can see it's all done via this control panel here which you can up and down with as well you can't see because of the light there you go and that goes all the way up to 5.5 hertz um, you've got your pump that's telling you your pumps working uh, heat sensors are good um, well, glow plug ones off obviously uh, good battery mode that's for your remote control we've got a timer on it you can hear it speeding up now I think it's at full power 5 yeah. This will be at that sort of full, full noise level. I mean, it's, it's all good for me. Because I've got no bulkhead, as you can see. But if you've got a bulkhead, it shouldn't really bother you. Um, excuse my shaking hands. See now, just plugged it in, so it's feeding through the holes now and then back to the tank via that. Okay. Temperatures are coming up. Just 
how hot the water gets. With this way you could fill buckets or, or anything. If you've got a really big bucket to fill, it should start steaming away in a minute. Forty-five minutes. Uh, that's about all I can say about it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Cheers.